Hello friends, I am CA Abdul Rafiq, Chartered Accountant with more than 30 years of experience. I am the Managing Director of Windsor Infotech Limited. In this presentation, we will cover TCAT in terms of giving you a perspective of how to import the ledger details from Tally into MS Excel using TCAT, the data analytics software for Tally. We will give you a demo of the vouchers or the ledger related functions in TCAT. Windsor Infotech Limited provides solutions for data analytics and business intelligence. We believe in revolutionizing assurance compliance consulting services by providing powerful tools and techniques for performing data analytics, BI and AI. We are living in an increasingly digitized world where most of the information system is powered by technology. Most enterprises use accounting software and in India, Tally is the most popular and widely used accounting software in India. These are some of the key features of Tally. It's simple to use and easy to learn. It has a large number of trained users. It is user friendly. It is quite fast in processing data. It has comprehensive functions covering all the key business process areas. It has inbuilt compliance features. It has a diverse set of reports. It has data processing security and it's also stable and flexible. But what is the problem? The problem is how can we dynamically interface with Tally to get the required data into MS Excel? There are some pain points of the users. One of the pain points is how to get from Tally information of masters data and reports from Tally into MS Excel for further analysis and for reporting. The data exported to MS Excel from Tally takes time, it requires further formatting and it's still not ready for further analysis in MS Excel. So getting data from Tally into MS Excel for further analysis is a big cha challenge due to formatting issues and a lot of time is spent by users to format the data to get into the right format so that it can be used for further analysis. This is a major pain point. Now this is where we offer the solution TCAT, which is an add-in software to MS Excel which facilitates data analysis by importing Tally data into MS Excel. TCAT is a one-stop solution for importing data of masters, transactions and reports from Tally to MS Excel so that you can perform further analysis in MS Excel. What are the key benefits of using TCAT? It's an automated solution for importing data from Tally software to MS Excel in a structured format in a few clicks within few seconds or minutes. This gives you the salient features of TCAT. It supplements the simplicity of Tally with the power of data analytics of MS Excel. Who can use TCAT? Audit and accounting professionals, CXOs, compliance managers, anybody who has to deal with Tally, who has to access and analyze information from Tally can use TCAT. The way to use TCAT is very simple. You have to select the specific menu or function to import relevant information into MS Excel. Later on, I'll give you a demo how this can be done. When to use? Whenever you want to extract specific or all information in a structured format for further or detailed analysis in MS Excel from Tally, you will find TCAT is a very powerful ally. How to use TCAT? Let's look at the essential steps. These are the simple steps for using TCAT. First, open Tally and select the company and the period for which you want the data to be imported. Second, identify the specific masters or transactions data or report required to be imported from Tally. Third, open MS Excel and click on TCAT tab and then use the specific function of the TCAT to get the required data into MS Excel worksheets. And then you can review the data in MS Excel worksheets and perform analysis as required by you. Let's look at the panel and the menus of TCAT. Now let's group into categories and see. Now you find TCAT as an add-in, TCAT as an add-in to Excel has all the features and simplicity of Excel. So the first 
four panels gives you master information from tally it has the configure documents and profile the next five panels accounting inventory cost center payroll and compliances gives you specific information from transactions and masters there is exclusive panel for gst related transactions and masters then you have the audit related information although auditor can use all the panels all the menus and functions you have a special special panel where you have reports and analysis panel meant for the auditors let's have a walk through the functions as per the category we broadly put into three categories master info vouchers reports audit and utilities now if you see here this gives you a list of all the functions as per the panel and the menus let me show you as per the category now if you look at the panel now these are the panels available let me show you in tcat you have the configure panel documents profile accounting inventory cost center payroll compliances gst reports and analyze these are the panels now if you look at the menus now these are the menus you have the log info you have the day book you have trial balance you have query master stock items break up like that you have multiple menus similarly you have sub menus these are the sub menus then you have the most important thing which takes you to the use of tcat which are the functions there are totally 93 functions 92 functions in tcat now let's look at the categories now if you look at the categories first let's say if you look at from the audit point of view now these are the functions which are available similarly if you look at from the masters this gives you a list of functions which are available specifically pertaining to the masters for example you can extract the company info you can extract the general info you can extract the queries based on specific areas you can extract different type of ledgers and filter them as required you can extract the voucher type ledger groups group configuration expense ledgers these are all the type of master information we'll be doing a separate recording for each of these categories later on you also have the reports which can be extracted from tally into excel these are all the reports then you have the utilities these are powerful functions which can help you to perform various activities in tcat and now we come to the functions which was referring to which is the vouchers or ledger related so if you see here totally there are 15 functions transactions bill wise transaction ledger vouchers etc and we'll be covering each of this in this presentation let me give you an overview of the vouchers or ledger details features of tcat now this gives you a list of the functions of the vouchers or the ledgers now there are totally 15 functions so if you see for each of the functions we are given the panel the menu sub menu and the function and where it is what it can perform and i'll be give, giving you a quick demo of each of these features let's have a walk through and demo of the voucher or ledger related functions in tcat first let me take you to daybook transactions let's understand what does daybook transaction mean daybook transactions is in the panel of accounting in the menu of daybook the function is primarily of transactions it displays daybook transactions for all specific ledgers as per the conditions or as per month wise you also have daybook transactions extract where you can extract specific ledgers as per conditions or month wise you also have debit transactions month wise which means you can extract the debit transactions for all the specific ledgers as per the conditions or the month wise so let's look first at the debit transactions i'll go to tally and we'll see now in tally i've already opened tally i've got two companies open i got one company sri krishna traders let's look at the details now there are total 919 vouchers this has got this is sample data which has got most of the features which we are going to show let me show you how to use this software so for this i need to use excel i'm going to open a new worksheet 
this is a new worksheet i come to tcat tally is already open i come to accounting day book transactions it queries and checks whether tally is open and also the accounting period and by default it gives you the accounting period is open from 142012 to 313213 let me pick up from 14 1113 to 31313 i would like to extract the details as follows let me have the narrations also okay so i am want to extract all the details i can also go to specific uh, this one voucher types so here i would like to pick up all and i say okay now this should be able to extract from tally all the transactions from 112013 to 313213 now if you see here i got all the transactions okay and each of the transactions if you see is properly structured now if you see the date all the date is properly formatted now if you look at the ledger name you can filter based on ledger name as you want you have the different voucher types you have the voucher numbers you have the debit and the credit for each voucher number if you see for voucher number 1 you have got this debit and the credit it also gives you the party ledger name and the narration okay this is how you can extract the debit transactions let us do the same thing once again debit transactions and this time i would like to do from the same period and i would like to extract with the parent and the primary group i do not want the narration or the transaction type or the party ledger name now if you see the power of the software i can also extract with the opening and the closing balance now if you see here for each of the transactions it gives me the parent and the primary group so if you would like to know what are the transactions pertaining to let's say bank od account i'll be able to pick up all the transactions at one shot now this is the power of getting the data into ms excel from tally now let's go to the next function so here i showed you day book transactions the same thing let's say i would like to extract with the opening and the closing balances i would like to change the period this is the accounting period now i'd like to extract the transactions with the opening balance and the closing balance and with the parent and the primary group which means i want all the transactions from 112013 to 313213 with the parent and the primary group with the opening balances i can also put a condition which means i want transactions of a particular type if you remember in tally we have got alt f12 i can also pick up transactions of specific party or with a specific narration or with a specific amount we are not doing it here let's say okay now if you see you should be able to get the transactions of all the parties from 112013 to 313213 along with the parent and it also gives you the opening and the closing balance so in this case if you see varadarajan and company you have opening balance similarly you got another closing balance as on 313 so it's like you're getting all the ledgers for the particular period in a single worksheet so that you can perform further analysis okay this is the power of getting the data from tally into ms excel so we have seen the second function now let's go to the next function where i would like to look at the extract now i would like to now look at extract in extract i would like to extract transactions now if you see this is it where it becomes very powerful i would like to extract transactions i'll keep it as the full year i would like to extract all ledgers or expense ledgers okay i'm going to pick up all ledgers i want to have primary group it gives me the option to select the primary group let's say in this case i'm picking up the indirect expenses then i select the parent and then in this i want to select the administrative expenses i say okay so it gives me all the ledgers in this case there are no ledgers here so let's go back here and pick up the direct expenses and then let's pick up directly go to the ledgers now in direct expenses it tells me these are the expenses available 
I'll say select all, which means I'm extracting all the ledgers under the primary group, led, under the primary group direct expenses. And I want with the narration, I'm removing the narration, and I want only the transactions of these particular accounts. I also have the option to get all these ledgers by default in a single page or I can get them in separate worksheets. So now I'm going to select this option, separate worksheets, and I say, okay. Now if you see here, all the ledgers with the transactions of each of these is added with an index page. For example, carriage inwards, you've got carriage inwards here, you got freight charges, you got go down, and you got packing. So this is how you can extract specific ledgers at one shot. Not only that, the data is all formatted so you can filter, analyze in whatever way you want. So if you see here, I've selected with the opening and closing balance. So it gives me like the statement of accounts extracted for all the parties. So it means I can extract ledgers for all the parties in a single shot. Okay, now let me show you one more function in this category, the daybook transactions. I go to daybook. Okay, so there is something open here. Let's cancel this. Okay, let me come here. Excel opens uh, every for every window. It opens a separate in a separate worksheet. So we have to be careful as to where the functions have gone. Let's come back to daybook. Now I'd like to look at the transactions. And here, okay. So to be on the safer side, let me close this so that we have only one sheet, so it becomes easier for us to work. Yeah, so I'm going to pick up, let's see how many Excel sheets are open. Only one is there. So I'm going to uh, come back to Excel. Okay, I'm going to now, this job is over. So let's open one new worksheet. I open a new worksheet, come to TCAT. Now I come to Daybook, Transactions. Now I come to Monthwise. Now, if you see here, month-wise, by default, it is selected the financial year begins from 2012. I'd like to pick up all the transactions from a parent. Let's say I'd like to pick up all the transactions pertaining to, uh, let's say, in this case, indirect expenses. I'll say OK. And this I want for all the ledgers. And I would like to have it month-wise. Now, if you see here, I've got the party ledger name, transaction type, and I say month-wise. Now it tells me which month do I want. Let's say I want to select for the month of April, May and June. Now we'll see what will happen. I want to select all the months. Now it tells me what is the worksheet name. So I'm going to give the worksheet name as quarter one transactions. And I say OK. Now this will give me where you want to store. I say OK. Now this will extract all the transactions of all the ledgers for the month of April, May and June and put this in separate sheets. Now if you see here, I got for the month of April all the transactions, I got for the month of May, similarly I got for the month of June. So when you want to extract details directly from tally, sometimes it's uh, slow to extract all the transactions one shot, you can actually segregate this month wise and extract it as required. Let's come back to our presentation. Now with this you have seen how you can extract the debug transactions, you can ext extract specific ledgers, you can also extract month wise. Now let's look at the bill wise transactions. What is bill wise transactions? It's available in the same accounting debug transaction menu. Displays debug transactions for all or a specific voucher type which have bill wise details. Let me show you the demo. Now here I come to Daybook. Now here bill wise it's available. So I have got these transactions bill wise. So I'll say all. Now it gives me the option. Do I want to the parent or primary group? As of now I don't want. I just want all the bill wise transactions. I can select. Let's say I select so that it's faster. I select only for three months and I say okay. This should extract all the bill wise transactions from 1 1 13 to 31 3 13 which means bill wise you know our transactions pertaining to sundry retards and sundry creditors and able to get all the transactions with all the bill wise reference in one sheet at one click 
Okay, so this is the power of PCAT that you can extract specific transactions based on your requirements. Now let's go to the next function, ledger vouchers. What do the ledger vouchers do? Displays the voucher transactions for all the specific ledgers as per the conditions and or month wise. This is similar to debug transactions, but there is one small difference and I want you to notice what is the difference here. So I'm going to debug here. In debug, I got the ledger vouchers. I got the ledger vouchers here. What I'd like to do is I want to have the ledger vouchers from 1113. Let me just pick up for one month. Okay, I want the ledger vouchers and I want this in a separate work. I do not want in a separate worksheet for each ledger. I want all the, this one in one. Okay, let's see what will happen. So here I'm extracting the ledger vouchers. This is how it is defined in tally, ledger vouchers. The difference between debug transactions and the ledger vouchers. This actually writes row by row. So you will see here, for each transaction, if you look at here, we had the debit and the credit correspondingly here. Whereas in the case of the ledger voucher, you find for each transaction, you have the corresponding ledger name. Okay, so this becomes easy for you to see if there is a particular debit, which is the corresponding credit. So this gives you, for example, cash corresponding, what are the payment made for this cash? It was staff welfare expenses, cash against staff welfare expenses. For each of the ledgers, you can also see the corresponding ledger name. And this is the power of the ledger vouchers. Let's close, which are not required. Okay, now let's come back to the next transaction, cash book transactions. What do you find here? Displays cash book transaction for the active or the select period. So here also it's very simple. If you see, it follows the same standard pattern. I sele select the menu. I come to cash book transactions. I se select the period for which I want. There is an issue here. We'll just see how best we can resolve this. Okay. So we got this here. I think we will do one thing because it's an opening new instance of Excel. There is an issue here. Let's see whether we can come back to Excel. So we'll have to open a new instance of Excel. We'll open Excel. So in this presentation, what I was telling you so far, we have shown you how you can extract various types of transactions from the daybook. We have seen how you can extract transactions from daybook based on all the transactions or a specific voucher type or you can extract specific ledgers and you can also extract month-wise. Now here we are talking about extracting daybook transactions, cash transactions. Okay, let's minimize this. We are now here. We would like to extract the cash book transactions from 14-2012 to 31-3-2013. And I would like to have the parent and the primary group also. And I say, okay, this should extract all the cash book transactions. Not only that, it will also be able to give me, now you see, you got the result here. It also gives me the parent and the primary group. This is what we have done. Now let's come to the next. So we have seen the cash book transactions. Now we are going to the bank book transactions. Bank book transactions is also very similar. The title should be bank book. So it displays bank book transactions for the active or the selected, selected period. Now let's come here. Now I have got to day book. Bank transactions. Now it opens. Now it asks me what do you want. I want from let's say 14 2012 to 31 3 2013. I say okay. Now this extracts all the transactions from the bank book. I've already got it here. 
So you see it's quite super fast. So for all the bank transactions is there, but into whatever is created under the group bank, parent bank, bank accounts, you get all the transactions. Now this is how you can get the bank transactions. Now let's go to the inventory transactions. So inventory transaction displays inventory related transactions from the day book. Here, same pattern, you got this cash book, bank book, we have finished. Now if you look at the panel inventory, I have got the transactions. I select the inventory transactions. Let's say I don't want the narration, I just want this one. I do not want parent or prime group. I will say OK. Now it also gives me the option to select the period. So let's say I select the period as 1-3-2013 to 1-3-2013. Now let's just check what is the accounting period we have here. We have got from 1 for 2012 to 31-313. So inventory transactions, let's come back again and check what's happening. I'm going to select based on the active period. Let's say we go to the active period and go by the default. Now you see we've got the all the inventory transactions for the period 13 to 31-3-2013. Now cost center transactions. So what is the pattern? Now I think by now you are familiar how the pattern is. You should be able to go to the option. Now if you see cost center transactions, these are the masters and you have the transactions. I select transactions and I'm just I'm not selecting anything here. I just say okay. Now this should give me all the cost center related transactions for the full year. So wherever cost center is there, you would have got the cost center transactions. It gives you the cost center category and the cost center. So you can find out what are the cost center. Now just imagine the power of this. You can create a pivot table and you can get to know what the transactions as per each ledger name or as per cost category or as per cost center. Next, we've got payroll transactions. Now you must have mastered this. So displays the payroll related transactions from the day book. So where do you find this? There is a panel payroll. I just go here transactions and I just have to click OK. Now this will give me all the payroll transactions for the period 31st March 2013. This is for the month of March. So I can go and change the period for whatever period I want. I can get the transactions. Now I got GST related transactions. Now let's say I would like to have the sales vouchers in detailed or summary this one for the GST related transactions. For this I need to change the company because this data is not available in Sri Krishna traders because this belongs to 1213. So what we will do is we will shut this company and now we will open ABC services. Let's check the period. By default this is the period. So I'm going to change this to April 17 to March 18. Let's check the transactions. Okay, now you got 17,000 find out seven transactions. So it's a big company, a lot of transactions are there. We'll see how we can extract only the sales transaction for this particular company. Now I've got this here. Now let's see. Okay, now I'd like to extract the GST related transactions. I come to the transactions here and I say sales. Now here it tells me what are the transactions I want. Transactions. Let's say I would like to give the transactions from 1318 to 31318 and I want the details. I want to show the transactions or let me say to be on the safer side. I'll just let you pick up 10 dash transactions. Okay. Now this should give me all the sales transactions from 21318 to 31318 extracted from tally into MS Excel. Now, as the transactions are many, this may take a little time. So, so far you have seen, we have another four functions, four or five functions to go. So, this will extract all the transactions of sales. Similarly, you can extract the purchases, duties and taxes and other ledgers. So, the processing speed will depend on the type of the processor you have and also depends on the volume of transactions.
we also have one more function in tcat let me show you that it is still loading so we have one more function where if you got transactions which take a long time you can perform the transactions by selecting the option work in background when you select this option okay so i think the problem is because i selected the period wrongly i selected from 21318 to 31319 uh, so that's why the it's taking a long time because the transactions are many so let's see or i'll just take a pause close this and come back welcome back sorry for the interruption now you see it took some time because the transactions were many so now if you see here we got all the transactions from 21st march 18 because i by mistake i gave till 31 319 so you got till the september 5th september the transactions there so there were totally about 14573 14580 rows of transactions okay which means it extracts all the transactions and gives you now once you got the transactions you see the power is you can go and select as per the specific type of sales now you'd like to pick up all the transactions pertaining to a particular gst or a particular product or a particular customer you can do whatever type of analysis you want once you got the data in available to you okay now let's come back to our presentation now you see this is how you can get the gst related transactions now let's go to our next function which is the gst purchases now what do you have you can display you can have the purchase vouchers in the detailed summary format for all the gst related purchases so let me choose this time carefully i have got ticket now i go to transactions and i got purchases now i have got active so i am going to select custom and here i am going to be careful i am going to pick up only 213 2018 and here i'm going to be careful and give 313 2018 i can get the details i can also include the parent of the primary group there is another function called trend line which will cover in a separate presentation now if you see here this should be able to extract all the purchase transactions now you see it came quite fast so if the transactions are not many you should be able to get this quite fast you get all the purchases here in one shot now you see you can select the only one purchases here you can also get the all the parties so you find this you can also get it as per the party name so if you would like to know what the purchase made for each of the parties you can also get this now just imagine if you are able to get this in a pivot table you can do detailed analysis or we have one more software called ecat which you can use for detailed analysis ecat is another software using which you can do further analysis you can watch detailed videos of uh, ecat separately as referring to the work in background if you see here this is what is telling you so there is a function called work in background it gives you the option to perform the work in the background so it means when you have transaction to take a long time uh, transactions are many it takes a long time so ex you don't need to stop excel so you can perform the function in ecat with the work in background option the function will perform the background and you can continue to work in excel once it's from performed the results will be displayed to you now i would like to go to duties and taxes and now you see the beauty of this what can we get displays the transactions or ledgers in duties and taxes group let's see how we can do this now i've got this here now let's see here uh, we come to transactions i would like to extract in the duties and taxes okay it looks like we have some issues in navigating right we finally got it okay now we got this you got see if you see here primary group duties and taxes by default it is selected so what i'd like to do is now it depends on how they selected so i'd like to go to the parent now parent now here you see they got vat and then they have created one more parent called duties and taxes let's select that now under this if you see it will display all the ledgers under this duties and taxes here now you see these are the duties and taxes available here so i would like to go and select let's say few things cgst cgst so i'd like to extract all these let's say five ledgers 
okay and i'd like to extract transactions narration party ledger name for all these five ledgers it also gives me the option separate worksheet for each ledger i'll say okay so it means now this should be able to extract transactions for all the parties i'm giving the full year because i believe the transactions may not be many let's see now this should be able to extract all the transactions for each of these ledgers and put this in a separate page if i not selected this option separate worksheet it would have given all the transactions of all this ledger in a single worksheet let's see the result now it's extracted the data from tally and now it's loading the results into the excel worksheet so each of the ledgers you should be able to get now you see the power of the software now if you see here i have got this see just the oil i have got all the transactions there are some issue here because the party ledger name is not selected so it means i need to select the party ledger name so let me select perform this again i am going to select one worksheet and uh, let us close the other worksheet so that we don't have any confusion come back again to excel now let's perform this again i come to tcat transactions duties and taxes okay so it looks like we need to see how best we can get these two fellows on the same page yes we got it now we got the duties let's go back again parent i'm selecting duties and taxes and i say okay now it should be able to show me all the ledgers which are there under duties and taxes okay i am going to select by default everything i have got for the period 142017 to 313218 i am going to select 1 2 and 3 okay these are the ledgers i am selecting and it has the ledger names also and i say okay now this should be able to extract the transactions of all these ledgers which are selected and i did not ask for the option of single page so it would have put it in, in separate worksheet so you would have got that in one ledger itself you would have got this okay which means if you go here now if you select filter now if you see all the transactions pertaining to cgst 18 20 what are selected are all available in one page now can i get this in separate page let's see the same thing this is an important thing so let me repeat this and do it with a separate worksheet option okay right we got it here so we had to do a little circus to get this fellows together in one page uh, we'll see how best we can resolve this issue so i'm going to now select the options here so here i selected cgst i'm selecting okay these are the One, two, three, four ledgers are selected, and I would like to have separate worksheets for each of these ledgers. Let's see how we get the result. Now we should be able to get the results of each of these ledgers in a separate page. Let's load in the results one by one. earlier if you see we had all the ledgers in a single sheet now for each of this ledgers now you see here i got this so there is some issue in this we'll resolve this particular thing i think there is some issue in getting the transactions we'll see how we can resolve this okay in all the cases i think it got the transactions it's adding some additional references where there's some issue okay we'll come to this so it means you can extract transactions for gst related transactions also we had some additional data pertaining to gst which i think there is issues here like references we had added the tax rates etc so there seem to be some issue we'll resolve this okay now we come to the presentation again now we have gst transactions all gst transactions so this displays all the gst related transactions for the particular month okay so to be on the safer side let's come back to excel 
here we are now here we go to transactions and i have this options all gst transactions okay here i can get all the gst related transactions at one shot with all the details i am going to select the period so here i am going to select only let us say 25 3 to 31 3 2018 because i want this to be fast so i am just selecting about 6 7 days transactions you also have various other things we'll come to this later so this should be able to extract all the gst transactions now if you see when i say gst all gst transactions now you see with journal purchase sales this one what are be the type of transactions which has got gst which means if the ledger name has got gst we would have selected this now how is the selection done if you see you carefully observe i said all gst transactions when i selected i had some options now you have auto and user when i select user i selected by default auto let's see what's happening here so by default it is selected ledgers containing gst is what is selected so it, it gives me all the transactions where ledgers is selected here you have to carefully go and select what are the ledgers which are required for you in some case for example you got printing stationery which also has gst those will be selected so we have got both the options auto auto means any ledger name with igst cgst and sgst containing that that will be selected let's come back to our presentation so we have finished gst now we are going to look at the sales registers purchase registers and the journal vouchers i'll finish in the next 3 to 4 minutes so but before that i need to close this company because we need to go back to our original company i close this company and now let's select and come back to our sri krishna traders i have selected this now ensure that the period is correct so by default it selected the period correct now i come back to excel now this is where we are in excel now i come to the reports i have got the registers this is what i want to show you the sales register in the sales register i'd like to pick up the vouchers now here custom i would like to pick up let's say from 13 2012 31 3 okay which means i'm extracting all the sales transactions from 13 2012 231 3 so let's see there is some issue in the default accounting period the default accounting period 812 to 813 that's right so let's come back here and now let's perform this again registers sales registers vouchers now we got the full period let's say uh, we'll go and select by default the full period so which means i want all the sales register vouchers for the full year now it looks like it comes in a jiffy okay now you got all the transactions pertaining to sales for the full year okay now let's go back to the next one which you wanted to perform which is we have seen the sales register vouchers display the sales vouchers in detail summary format now we come to the next one which is the purchase registers vouchers what does it do it displays the purchase vouchers in detailed or summary format now i come here again i go to registers i go to purchase register and i say vouchers okay i've got this i'm just going to select default and say okay now this is extract all the purchase related vouchers and give it to me in one page now because this 2012 2013 we had the vat also okay so this is how you can extract the purchase vouchers you can also select for a specific period now let's come to the last one which is the journal vouchers so this displays the journal vouchers in the detailed or summary format now here the option is very simple if you see here ticket is very simple to use i go to the specific option and it has a standard structured design which means you know how to use one function you'll be able to know how to use any other function okay i've got this you also have detailed or summary so summary means it will give the summary as per the particular ledger name so we're just going to select as per the details 
Now, if you see here, I've got all the journal vouchers for the year in one page and I can do further analysis. Now, if you see here, I could also add the parent and the primary group. So, in that case, I could analyze the details vouchers as per this. So, now if you see, we have shown you in this particular presentation how you can extract any ledger or a group of ledger or any transactions from Tally into MS Excel in a few clicks. So, it's important that you select the right company, the period that is set and then you come to TCAT. In some case, TCAT also gives you the option for you to go and change the period. You can select the period and based on which you can extract the information which you want and you can get this in Excel and you can analyze it further. So what is the primary benefit? The bottom line is you can do more in less time by using TCAT and MS Excel together for the purpose of data analytics. I hope you got good idea about the power of TCAT to extract data from Tally, especially the ledger related information, the voucher related information. In the later series of presentations, we'll also cover how you can extract information pertaining to the masters, pertaining to audit and various other aspects. So thank you very much. These are other videos which you have. You can watch them. And we'll also be recording a series of videos covering the other categories. So thank you very much and look forward to seeing you in the next presentation. Bye.